Okay. Go for it, Glenn. <laughs> um, I went for this branch. Um, and for me, the I think it's a fungus, but I'm not sure. I just want to not touch it too much. Um, is representing the ice, maybe in a story like the Snow Queen or something like that, sort of mm. forming on the branches and turning anything from being natural into being, you know, the the ice kingdom or the snow kingdom. Awesome. Thank you. Um, well, Snow White. I know I've got lots of red apples there, <laughs> but um, maybe I could just use one of them from the story of Snow White. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, this one I got a bit stuck with, but other people suggested. Um, perhaps the hand from Hansel and Gretel when they're trying to trick the witch into thinking that mm. they're not fat enough. Mm. Yeah, Good one. I thought these could be some of the ears of corn from um, Little Red Hen, where oh. you could oh. cut them down and grind them up. And that would be interesting. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Um, okay. I was thinking of the story Into the Forest by Anthony Brown, which mm. has got lots of elements of lots of traditional tales in it. So a little boy goes on the walk to Grandma's house, but on the way he sees Hansel and Gretel. Or there's a wolf in the background, there's a castle in the background. And one point of it, it's all black and white, the, the book. It's quite dark, the illustrations. But there's one red coat hanging on the tree, and he wonders who it belongs to. So that's the red coat mm -hmm. hanging on the black and white tree. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm you. also for my class um, who would do like a sensory story uh, of like going into the woods and looking at all the different things they would find, the different textures, the smells, the feelings, and then obviously go on to do like texture rubbings and things like that. Thank you. Mm. Uh, little toast tool. So I thought it could be various thing, umbrella, if you were trying to hide yourself from stuff like that. Or you could do um, sort of like a Horton News of Who stuff. So the whole story mm -hmm. takes place on the top of a toaster or something mm -hmm. similar to that, and then pass it around then so they could all look at the top, find mm -hmm. different features that you include in the story. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I chose berries to use as breadcrumbs to scatter on the floor on the story of Hansel and Excellent. I have the acorn that falls on Chicken Little's head, makes him think that the sky is falling down. I have Cinderella's little cake for when she marries Prince Charming. Cool. I've got a berry, which was the apple from Snow White as well, so I suppose it could be the pumpkin from Cinderella as well. Mm -hmm. I've got the spider's web that the um, spider finally built when Robert, uh, Robert the Bruce was watching him, knocking him up and making his nest. Mm -hmm. That's the web side. Oh. Yeah. It's nice. great. I've got the fishing rod from Fisherman's Wife. Too. Traditional story where he goes down to the sea and catches magic like, fish and then grants wishes. The fishing rod to cast out into the sea. Yeah. Pressure's on. I've got the sun from One Fine Day, any story. There it is, like, but being a bit corny. But uh, I was going down along the icicle front for these little catkins. So, yeah, so it's looking like Frozen and uh, other, like the Ice Queen, stuff like that, really, at the end of the day. My favourite wine is going to be the feather from Robin Hood in his hat. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> perfect.